The brake cable connects the bale to the engine control. The cable assembly consists of a steel cable with connectors, a plastic sheath, and a mounting bracket. Common problems are broken cable ends, the cable becoming rusted or corroded in its sheath, or a broken plastic mount. Replacing the brake cable is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by loosening the cable bracket. Before I do, I'll note the location of the cable within the bracket so I can reset it later. I'll pull some slack into the cable so I can remove the end from the bale. Now I'll go ahead and remove the bolt from the bracket. And remove the cable. Now remove the brake cable from the bale. Now remove the brake cable from the engine control bracket. It's held in place with a couple of plastic tabs. I'll squeeze the tabs with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull the cable away from the bracket. I'll remove the connector and now I'll pull the cable away from the handle. Now I can install the new cable. First, I'll thread it through the guide on the handle and I'll reconnect the cable to the engine control. Now I'll reconnect the traction cable to the bracket on the brake cable. I'll connect the ends to the appropriate bales, the traction cable to the lower bale, and the brake cable to the upper bale. And I'll secure the bracket to the handle using the bolt. I'll secure the bracket with the washer and nut. And I'll adjust the traction cable to the location it was in before I removed it. And now you know how to install a new brake cable on your lawnmower. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.